On the heels of last week's rough news about the economy, it contracted nearly 3% during the first quarter. Another big report is out this week, this one on jobs. To discuss this and more, we're joined by Jill Schlesinger. Uh, Jill, halfway through the year, bad news for the economy? Well, those first three months were pretty awful, down by 2.9% annualized. That's way worse than we've seen over the last four years during the recovery. The good news is that we have seen the data improve, especially when it comes to jobs. And we are going to get that big jobs report. The first five months of the year, we are averaging over 200,000 jobs a month. That's good. We're expecting another reading of about 220 and for the unemployment rate to stay at 6.3%. That would be putting us on the right track for the rest of the year. The markets continue to roll six months into the year. Uh, do you expect that to continue? And, and, and what are you looking at in the next six months? You know, the economy is not the stock market. The stock market is not the economy. We know that. And part of the reason that stocks have been able to give us such good performance, 6.1% higher on the S&P 500, is that companies have not had to pay higher wages. When we look at wage growth, it's only been 2.1% from a year ago. We usually average around 3%. Now, I think that's about to change in the second half of the year. It looks like companies are getting ready to give us raises. That's good, but it may not be good for the stock market because the raises are good for us, not so good for companies. Good news for workers, though. Jill, thank you very much. Thank you.